Welcome back to my cooking channel where we take a recipe and we try not to ruin it. So this is what happens when you take somebody with terrible cooking skills and throw them in a kitchen and then we just see what happens. Is it going to be edible? Is it not? So far, so good. Recipes have been pretty simple. We're slowly going to start building on that. But for this one, we are going to be doing a firecracker beef and veggie bowl. So it uses gluten-free pasta. I've only done rice so far, so I'm a little nervous to work with gluten-free pasta. Hopefully it turns out good, but we are going to jump into this. The first thing I'm going to start with is I'm just going to prep up the veggies that are needed for this recipe, and then we'll go on from there. Okay, so for the veggies for this recipe, it calls for one full crown of broccoli, a small onion, and a bell pepper. So I'm going to chop these up and uh, I've never used this thing before, but it's like one of those chopper things. So I'm going to do the onion with that. I don't, it took me way too long to decide what size thing to use. It said diced. So I'm assuming that this is probably going to be okay. A little nervous today because I don't have my, uh, my cooking coach with me. So I'm doing this one completely solo. Uh, but, uh, see what, see what I can do. Oh God. That just like exploded. Oh my God. Ah. <sighs> How do you cut these now? Okay. Oh my gosh. This is a mess. Seems like very big chunks of broccoli. I don't know if I'm a fan of that, but. Ooh, that's a lot of broccoli. That seems like too much broccoli. This is, there's broccoli everywhere. Uh, okay, we'll throw the broccoli in here for now, I guess. Oh my gosh. Why was that so messy? Look at all this stuff. Okay, on to the next. Pepper, this should be easier. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then it says to slice these thinly. I don't know what thinly is, but Thin enough. Should have just did peppers. That was this is way more enjoyable. All right. I I don't. I never do onions. Uh, I'm assuming I cut this dirty piece off. Okay, and this weird thing, okay. And I'm just gonna peel out, oh my God, that's a lot of the onion, okay. Ugh. This is what happens when you don't have a, somebody that can cook supervising you while you cook. Uh, do it sideways or this way? This way? Oh. 
that. Oh, that's huge. Um, I'm just going to chop this up more. Feeling, feeling a little defeated on this one. I think the onions are starting to burn my eyes. Okay, so for the instructions, it says to start boiling your water and then start mixing your sauce stuff together. I'm going to mix the sauce stuff together and then I'm going to start boiling my water while I cook the meat and stuff because I'm slow at this and I need some time to gather my thoughts. So we're going to mix the sauce. Mix the sauce. So first thing it calls for is half a cup of sriracha. That's a lot of sriracha. So I'm not really a spicy kind of guy. Like uh, I'm kind of a wuss when it comes to spice, but I'm trusting the person that made this recipe, which I will link in the description. It's an Instagram recipe that I found, but they said that you don't, it's not extremely spicy. So we're going to trust that. So half a cup of sriracha. Okay, next we have three tablespoons. It calls for coconut sugar, but I don't have coconut sugar. And I've never used coconut sugar. I have brown sugar. I'm going to assume that it's going to be a even ratio. So I'm going to do three tablespoons of brown sugar into the sauce. Hopefully that doesn't mess it all up, but... We'll find out. Okay, three tablespoons of honey. I guess that's why it doesn't taste overly spicy because it seems like there's quite a bit of sweetener going into here. Then we have a quarter cup of Bregs. Um, they use the Tamari uh, gluten-free soy sauce, but I have Bregs. So that's what we're doing. And then we also have a quarter cup of rice vinegar. That is my least favorite smelling thing. And then it says just whisk this up. Still smells spicy. Boom. Sauce is done. Put that off to the side. I'm going to start boiling the water. For my nudies. Okay, now it says to add uh, two tablespoons of it says avocado oil, but I don't have avocado oil. So I did olive oil and then it says to cook it on medium, over medium heat. And we just add our ground beef. How is that boiling so fast? Oh my gosh. Okay, so what we're doing with the ground beef is that we're just breaking it up cooking it until it's browned and then we add in some uh, the we add in the onions and garlic paste which I will show you when the beef is brown because it's not this is freaking done never seen water boil that fast never in my life Okay, so the ground beef is pretty brown. I don't know if you can see it in this pan, but it's browned. Uh, now it says to soak up, try to soak up the grease. And she used a, she used a piece of paper towel and just threw it in there.
Ooh. Ooh. I don't know about this. Might be eating paper towel. There we go. Okay. Okay. So now that the ground beef is browned, we're going to add in our onions. And then you add a tablespoon of garlic paste. I think she said like three, three crushed cloves of garlic or whatever. But we're going to do a tablespoon of garlic paste because I think that's probably equivalent. I don't, I, I'm, I don't know. Well, there's some big chunks of onion in here. Okay, so it says to let this cook on medium heat again for two to three minutes. While that is cooking, now I cook my noodles. So I'm going to, I don't know, I turned the heat down because I was panicking. And so I just grabbed a box of like these gluten-free linguine noodles because they looked kind of similar. But she used the uh, some fancy rice ramen noodles from Costco um, says to use eight ounces so this is a 12 ounce box so I'm gonna use three quarters of that and uh, chuck it in this pot and cook that Ooh. this one I guess Get in there. You can do it. Okay, as, as crazy and chaotic as this feels, I feel like, uh, you know, we're doing it. We're doing it, guys. We're uh, making it happen, Captain. So I guess I just wait. Okay, so the ground beef and onion has been cooking for at least two minutes. So I am going to add in the sauce now. So it says to add in all of this sauce and then let that cook for another six to eight minutes until it starts to caramelize. And then you add in your veggies and blah, blah, blah. But adding the sauce. Okay, so we let that cook for six to eight minutes. I'm not gonna lie, it smells so spicy. Like, I get just like whiffs of it, and then I'm like, oh, that's that's a lot. But, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Also, this doesn't seem like enough sauce for what I'm gonna do, but I don't know, I don't know. Also, I didn't see where it said to add salt, so I don't know what I was supposed to salt. I, I missed that step. Probably in all of the chaos that is my cooking life. I just missed it. It's in there somewhere. Okay, this sauce is starting to thicken. Things are coming together. I can feel it. It's going to be good. Maybe. I don't know. Whoa. Okay, I think these noodles are getting close to done. Whew. Ah! Oh. That's so really hard. Doing Instagram recipes versus like blog recipes is so much more difficult because it's just such a small little screen and everything's so fast that I can't like watch the video in like normal time. She's just flying through everything like a pro and I'm just like, what do we do? What do we do? But, you know, I think in the end we might get this as long as I don't ruin these noodles. I'm scared to overcook these because... Ha, 
Ooh, that's hot. Ah. Okay, we're getting close now. That one. What's going on here? Okay. We're almost there. Ooh -wee. That's looking really good. Like that beef sauce. This is looking really good. Like I'm excited for this. I would probably just eat this. This looks like almost like a nice thick chili without the gross kidney beans in it, you know? Okay, now these have been cooking for like seven minutes. Now it says to throw in the vegetables with this. Well, that's too much. That's too much. Too much. Why would they say what? Good now. Oh my God, that's. It says to throw in one third of a cup of just water to the sauce, I guess. I, I don't know why, but like we just kind of thickened it and now we just watered it down. So not too sure. Also, this is. How am I going to get the noodles in here? This is this one was so much more stressful than this sticky chicken. Right off the bat with that broccoli, when I cut into it and it just like, just broccoli everywhere. That was, that was the end of, of it all. And I feel like this is super watery now. So we're kicking it up a little bit on the heat. I had turned it down low. Now we're turning it back up to try to thicken this before we add in the noodles. I've cooked this significantly longer than what it said. It doesn't look like this sauce is thickening. It's like water. It just looks like water sauce. See what I'm saying? Like it just, it just, it just looks like water now. Hers looks so thick and like, I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna add the noodles because maybe that'll somehow pull it all together. I don't know. Okay. Noodles are in. Now it says to cook for another minute to let the noodles get evenly coated with the water sauce. Mine does not look anything like this video. That's concerning. A little concerning, but you know, most of the, I feel like all of the recipes didn't really turn out like looking like what they showed in the recipe, but they all kind of tasted good anyway. So hopefully that's the case. I, I don't know. I think I messed up. I think I had, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have put so much water, but let's see. So I'm going to plate this, show you the finished result, and then we'll give it a taste test, see what happens. Okay, so this is the final result. If you check out her actual recipe, it doesn't look anything like this. Mine looks so watery compared to whatever she did. But we'll give it a taste. It's spicy as f Super spicy. Like it's got good flavor, but like this is way too spicy for me. Um, I don't know how she managed to get hers not spicy. I also don't know how she got it to be like more of a red sauce. Um, 
like overall like i would give this like a six out of ten like not my thing but it is what it is so that is the firecracker beef and veggie bowl hopefully you like this video if you did make sure to give it a like comment down below what other recipes you want to see me try this one i consider a fail i don't know what the original one tastes like but if it tastes anything like this i didn't enjoy it but i feel like i failed mine somehow because it's the sauce is just super watery it's not really caking or sticking to the actual food um but yeah let me know what you want to see me attempt next and uh, don't forget to subscribe and turn those notifications on because we post a cooking video every Saturday. It drops at 9 o'clock, so you don't want to miss these nightmare of uh, videos. I'm super sweaty. I'm definitely done with this one, so I will see you in the next video.